everybody. Uh, losing my voice a little bit, but uh, it's all good. Uh, I just came on here real quick like this, so we didn't uh, get any kind of notice, but there is another convoy coming in uh, to Hagerstown right now, and we're going to go up here and greet them. I did not have time. It was a, I mean, just spur of the moment thing. We're, we're doing this right now. They're coming in. Uh, I did not get to get my microphone and all that stuff set up. So you might see my finger jump in now and then to the screen. Uh, I don't have my carrier or nothing like that. But I'm sure you all understand when something happens, you just got to be there. So this is a long part of life. Y'all was asking if Sasnik was around. Well, right there is his truck. And I don't know if y'all can tell, but, you know, no shirt. I mean, no sleeves. It's beautiful out here today. Two days ago, we were freezing to death. I think I showed y'all that before, but there's the uh, emergency tent in case somebody gets hurt. The truck's all loaded up and getting ready to go. These other trucks, the bar trucks are going up here to greet them. Parking that takes a little while to get across. It's a big one. I had jumped in my car, but I had cars behind me or pickup behind me. And I didn't want to miss this, so you're just gonna have to walk along with me. All these cars and everybody coming out to meet them. Okay, there it comes. This that I was getting ready in this parking lot is very, very spotty on its internet and data. So just bear with me. I don't have access to my booster or none of that stuff while I'm walking like this without my. Like I said, I didn't have time to get this set up. Yeah, I'll get you over on the other side here in a minute. So, y'all ain't being blinded. I know I sure am. And maybe I'll be able to see a comment or two.
Come on, bro. I was just coming right in here to so I can get out of the sun. Yeah, so that that, that everybody can see what's going on. Yeah. yeah, you're good right there. I can stand between you two and I can pump No, you're good. You're good. This this phone's super wide angle, so Okay, now I can see Miss Carol. I don't know if you can hear me with that boy back there, so can't understand you. I can believe that. I don't have my mic. Uh, I don't know if y'all can hear me good now or not, but uh, this was spur of the moment. I was actually across the parking lot from my vehicle, and I don't have any of my gear but my phone to, to do this with. Uh, this was 100%, 100% done on the fly. What's that? Yeah, buddy. Final approach is what they say. All right, guys. I'm being told, uh, gentlemen, next week's got a CB on. Final approach. They'll be coming in. That's not one of them. Unless he went and got them. Because he's one of our guys. So much love. It's all good. Y'all ain't gonna hear much through this, you as you can tell. <laughs> All these people have freedom in their DNA. You got that right. The gentleman next to me here, I don't know if you can hear him or not, but he said uh, uh, the people definitely got freedom in their DNA around here. We have to test our hearts. That's probably just the areas I was in, Carol. Uh, it's, like I said, it's real spotty out here. Uh, the internet and the data and stuff. And I couldn't grab any of my gear, my booster, nothing like that to be out here and do this. So uh, y'all on this one, just going to have to bear with this video. I can't make it any better. I actually walked 40 acres across back here and had literally to get here because I was not anywhere near my car so I could get my gear and come over here. And I did not want to miss this. No, did not want y'all to miss this. Unexpected, last minute. Hey, these guys gonna honk at everybody just because we love freedom. <laughs> I hear the sirens getting close. Linda, I am trying to read that. Is there a truck with a train horn? Oh, yeah, there's all kinds of trucks here with train horns. Absolutely. 
I hear the sirens. You're getting closer. You should see them start coming up the hill here any minute, or down the hill, actually. Actually, like this phone with this wide screen thing. Yeah. Because it's so it's got such a wide view. I can actually turn it away from somebody, and they don't even think I'm start looking at them. And it's got a full view. Hello, hello, guys and gals. Appreciate y'all coming on. We are still waiting. I can hear the sirens up the road every so often. They should be getting really close. Uh, we got last minute told that there was going to be a convoy coming in. So we all walked up here and drove up here. And of course, I was way away from the car. So y'all going to have to suffer with this video. The audio quality may not be so good. Uh, the picture may not be so good because I was not able to get any of my equipment other than my phone. So... Now it's too quiet out here. It's going seventy. Well, the sirens I'm hearing are actually coming from here. Now that everybody else is quieted down, I can tell it's come from one of these vehicles back over in here. Um, they are not as close as I thought they were. Well, you know what? Let's let's walk up towards the top of the hill. Hopefully, we'll keep a signal. here to the entrance where they'll be coming in. I'll go over here chasing the frisbee. <laughs> now we can come up here and get a downhill look. It's a spur of the moment, guys. We got told about this uh, like probably eight minutes ago or so. I don't know, maybe a little longer. I can't even tell how long I've been on here. Well, hell, I've been on 15 minutes, so I guess it's been longer than that. 
was expecting, uh, not expecting to have time to get up here. Could have went and got my gear. It made this a little bit better. Well, they should arrive sometime. I don't know when. But uh, I do not know, Carol. I did not know they, there was even a convoy coming in today. I did not even know there was a convoy coming in today. I don't think anybody did because it was a mad dash to get up here when we were told. So do not know where they're coming from, who they are, where they've been. Try to keep my fingers out of the screen. Hey, I like spontaneous stuff like this. Only thing is, I'd like to be a little bit more prepared. Maybe I'm just going to have to start carrying my gear around in my pockets. But it's so nice out today. I'm walking around here in a t shirt. I, it's just amazing. Two days ago, you couldn't even, uh, you, you couldn't even walk across the parking lot without being frozen. Well, there's, uh, we know that there's some from Vermont. We know there's some from Florida. We know there's some from, uh, uh, there's another one in Pennsylvania. And, it, I, you know, you're saying Ohio there. Uh, there's supposed to be another one out in Iowa that's spinning around coming back. So I do not, uh, <laughs> I do not know which one they are. Ah, they're coming from the backside. Awesome. Big one, but hey, have a little bit else. I know, and a lot of people are going to say, well, one truck, but you know what? A convoy is just a mass of vehicles running together, doesn't have to even be trucks. Oh, we'll see if everybody starts going back or maybe if they think more is coming yet, but it looks to me like most of them are still sticking around, so might be something uh, still coming, I don't know. Not sure how big it was supposed to be. Yeah. If that's it, that's fine. Hey, that's it's more people. I thought we heard about 40 or so, but it doesn't. I don't think it, it could, could be. be. Up a little. Could be. Here comes another one. Coming in. Right Here behind you guys. Is that one or is that those other guys? Oh, yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
planet. It don't matter who you are coming in or out of here today. They're going to blow, blow the horns and wave the flags. It's all about freedom. The gentleman next to me is saying he heard about 40, so we only seen about six or seven. They might have got splintered off a little bit back here. Good to see you here. Oh. And uh, I'll give you guys an update uh, this evening. We're going to have, we got a couple meetings going on out here tonight. Uh, I will keep you up with that. Um, and then I've got some other news for you that we will talk about when I'm actually sitting down and got all my gear. Hopefully my voice will hold out. For some reason, I seem to be losing my voice. It's probably just weather. So if I don't talk a lot right now, I, I just uh, trying to save my voice so we can have a good meeting tonight. Looks like it. I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't know if they're just going to sit out here and hog now because uh, most of the other bobtails that came out here with us are now gone. They've all went back. So, and they've got a CB with them, so they can tell better than I can what's happening. I said, I don't have any of my gear, don't have my vehicle. Yeah, it's all right, though. Let's go back there and see if they parked up in front of the stage. Gonna take a while. So that'll be a trip across here. As you can see, this combo is not dead. As they want to tell you. Uh, it looks empty on this side, but that's only because they moved everything into the back. So, I mean, there's a few of them up here still camping uh, on my right. Uh, we'll walk past that here in a little bit. And then, uh, I mean, they just moved us, the rest of us all around back. And it's a huge, huge field. I know y'all probably can't see it in the screen, but... Uh, the big uh, 
black hill of rock back there. I am clear on the other side of it yet. I don't know if you can tell how far that is, but it's quite a ways back there. I should have hitched a ride. So, honestly, I need to, well, I guess, pay attention to one of my videos on, like this, I'm doing on this phone, uh, so I know what kind of depths you guys are able to see on the screen. Because uh, there's a lot of things I try to talk about, and I don't know if you guys can even see them. Uh, it's like right there. I don't know if you guys can see them tents and the flags and stuff up there. Uh, you know, back here, that area right there is a bunch more tents and campers and cars. Uh, I know you guys are asking questions. I can see, sort of see them, but I cannot see them. Uh, not not with these glasses. Um, and not with this light into the phone. <coughs> Excuse me. So I apologize if I'm not answering your questions. It's just uh, physically impossible for me right now to see the screen. I do know it's going. I can see the the sky and the truck in front of me on it, but uh, it's hard to see anything else on this screen. Uh, just the light and my sunglasses I'm wearing, which are actually my my deep focus lenses, so I can see where I'm walking. And maybe I'll get down the other side of these trucks up here. Let's see. And then it flops. The whole stream is blurry. I, I, like I said, guys, I had zero time to go get my equipment. Uh, they just started announcing over the radios that uh, the convoy was, new convoy was coming in. Uh, they said we had five minutes. Of course, you can see that was a whole lot longer. Uh, I walked, uh, you can see how far I walked back here so far. Uh, I'm kicking this real good. My fingers out of the way. But uh, we run up or walk up. And I didn't put it in the car. I'm going to get a view of this, but I'm I'll come back out here. Tonight. Oh, yeah. What I'm supposed to be going on right now, I don't know if it is or not because of the convoy coming in. Uh, yeah. I have to walk clear down to the other side of the hill here to do it, but I need my, my gear first. I'll go to that meeting if they are having it uh, this is with the American Freedom Convoy they are intending on staying here and of course the people's convoy is leaving out at 9 a.m. Uh, tomorrow all right y'all I just wanted you to walk back with me in case I collapsed it's a long walk. No, but uh, anyway, 
uh, I will try to get these videos or even a single video for both these meetings put together right directly. Give me a little bit so I can get my gear, get things set up, and I will get down there and hopefully we'll have better video and better audio. All right. Love you all. Talk to you soon.